boys and girls and thanks for joining us for another video from FPC Kids. It's Christina here and today we're going to be learning some more wonderful truths from the Bible. But before we come to that we're going to do some singing so the words and the music will be up on the screen for you to follow along with so why don't you sing your very very best as we come to sing this chorus. story boys and girls we are going to be looking at another Mr Ben character and this is of course Mr Perfect. Now Mr Perfect was of course perfect. We're told that he had the perfect hair. We're told he had the perfect house. His house is called Tip Top Cottage. He had the perfect everything about him was perfect. He had perfect curtains and on this very special perfect day it was a special day because it was Mr Perfect's birthday and of course being Mr Perfect he was going to have the perfect birthday but he brought along all of his friends to his part into his party and all a lot of the Mr Man characters a lot of the little Miss characters came along to Mr Perfect's party and of course it was the perfect birthday party and we are told that Mr Perfect invited all of his friends in and they had a really good time and they even had a good time even when Mr Clumsy broke all of the plates. He broke every single plate. But of course, Mr. Perfect had the perfect manners and didn't uh, lose his temper. And he brought out some more perfect plates for everyone to eat their food off. And even when Mr. Greedy ate all of Mr. Perfect's perfect birthday cake, still Mr. Perfect did not lose his temper. And we are told that instead of getting cross with Mr. Greedy, that he brought out some perfect pieces of cake for everyone else to eat. And of course, they were perfectly lovely and they were delicious and then we're told that even when Mr Mean gave Mr Perfect a lump of coal 
for a birthday present. Now imagine receiving a lump of coal for your birthday present. But even when Mr. Mean gave Mr. Perfect a lump of coal, Mr. Perfect had the most perfect, polite manners, and he said thank you so much to Mr. Mean, even though it just was a, a, a little bit of coal. But there was one person at the party who was not happy, and that was Mr. Uppity. Now Mr. Uppity, he was not happy with Mr. Perfect. In fact, he was infuriated with Mr. Perfect because Mr. Perfect was so perfect. And that's what Mr. Uppity told Mr. Perfect. I'm angry, I'm cross because you're so perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. You are the perfect person. You know, boys and girls, now we're reading through this story of Mr. Perfect. And Mr. Perfect didn't put a foot wrong. He was definitely perfect. You know, that reminds me of some people today who think that they are perfect. And there are some people out in the world today who do think that they're perfect, that they can do nothing wrong, that everything in their life is perfect and everything that they do is just like Mr. Perfect. They have the perfect house, they've got the perfect car, the perfect job, they've got the perfect family, they've got the perfect everything that they can have, perfect friends and all the different types of things. They think that they are perfect. But you know, the Bible teaches us that there is no one that is perfect. There is no one on this earth who's like Mr. Perfect, who can do no wrong. The Bible tells us in our verse in the Bible, in Romans chapter 3, verse 10, that there is none righteous, no, not one. Or really that word righteous can mean perfect. There's none perfect. There's none that doeth good, no, not one. There is no one perfect. And why is that? Because the Bible teaches us that we are all born with sin in our hearts. And even if we didn't do anything wrong, even from the moment we were born right up to now, if we did nothing wrong, we would still not be perfect because we're all born with that sin in our hearts. Because Adam, way back in the beginning of the Bible, Adam and Eve, they took that forbidden fruit, they sinned against God. And with Adam and Eve, we all sinned with them. And because of that, we all then are born with sin in our hearts. So none of us are born perfect. We all sin in our hearts. You know what it's like, even when you're a youngster, when you're maybe one or two years old, you didn't have to be taught to do anything wrong. You didn't have to be taught to cry when things weren't going your way or to go somewhere you know you shouldn't have gone or do something you know you shouldn't have touched. We, were all, we didn't have to be taught how to sin. We've all sinned and no one is perfect. But you know, there's not only those people who think that they're perfect, but there's those people who try to be perfect. They try to be like Mr. Perfect and they try to do good and they try to be kind on the other people, just like Mr. Perfect here, those perfectly polite manners. And they try to be kind to everyone around them and they try to do good on to others and they try to do their best and they try to be perfect. And they do that with the hope that if they try to be perfect, if they try to do good and try to be kind and try to live as best as they can and as good as they can, that means that they will get into heaven that some way through their good works and by living a perfect life or trying to live a perfect life, that will get them into heaven. And you know, boys and girls, maybe you're listening in and you are one of those people and you try your best and you think, well, if I do this and if I do that and if I'm good here, if I do my homework, if I'm kind to my parents, if I'm nice to my brothers and sisters, if I do all of these different types of things, if I try to do the best I can, then God will allow me into heaven. But you know, boys and girls, that's not what the Bible teaches us. The Bible teaches us that we cannot get into heaven through our good works. Now it is good. It is good to go out and be kind to people. It's good to try and do the best that you can and try to live a good life. But boys and girls, don't ever think that by doing that, that that will get you into heaven. There is only one way for you to get into heaven. Only one way that you can be saved. Only one way that you can have your sins washed away. And that is through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's that very familiar verse in the Bible in Acts 16, verse 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no other way. You can't get into heaven by living a good life, by trying to be like Mr. Perfect, by trying to be perfect. You cannot do it. The only way you can get into heaven is by having your sins washed away. By asking the Lord into your heart, asking him, telling him you're sorry for your sins, asking him for forgiveness. And we're told that when we do that, even that verse remind us, if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. So boys and girls, maybe you're listening in and you do think you're perfect. Maybe you think I'm just like Mr. Perfect. Nothing is wrong with me. Not a hair out of place. Everything in my life is perfect. I'm just wonderful. Well, the Bible teaches us, like we said, that there's none righteous, none that doeth good. There's no one that is perfect. We all have sin in our hearts. And we need to have that sins take, those sins taken away. And the only one that can do that is the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Or maybe you do try, you try your best and you hope that by trying your best that will get you into heaven through your own good works. But again, the Bible teaches us that that will never work. You cannot get into heaven through your good works. The only way you can get into heaven is through again the Lord Jesus Christ by believing on him because he died on the cross for you and he died so you could have your sins taken away. So I hope boys and girls that you will come today, that you will realise you need to be saved, realise that you have sin in your heart, your wickedness in your heart, and you need to have your sins washed away and you'll come right now and ask the Lord into your heart to take away your sins and that you will be saved. So boys and girls, we've seen even through looking at the story of Mr. Perfect that no one is perfect. Only Mr. Perfect was really perfect, but he's only made up. But none of us are perfect and we do, you need to be saved. So I hope you will come and ask the Lord for salvation. We're going to finish off with a prayer. So we're going to bow our heads, close our eyes and fold our arms and we're going to ask the Lord to help us even remember what we've learned today. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee, Lord, for um, this story, Lord, and even what we've learned from the Bible, Stephen, from those two Bible verses about how there is none that is good, there's none that is righteous, no, not one. But we have, can have our sins taken away even by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do pray for any boy or girl listening in. And Lord, maybe they hope that by doing good, and that will get them into heaven, that Lord, you would speak to them and that you would show them that the only way they can be saved is through the Lord Jesus Christ. So with us now, Lord, help us remember, help us to hide these things in our hearts. For name's sake, we ask these things. Amen. Mm -hmm.